Hi, my name is Steve Morse and I'm a photographer. From 1982 to 1984 I attended the documentary photography course at uh, Gwent College in Newport. Uh, David Hearn established in 1973. Congratulations. Um, I only have good memories. I really only have good memories. Um, when you're surrounded by lots of people with uh, keen enthusiasm and a passion for photography, it's, uh, it's a life-changing experience. Um, all students full of curiosity and, and uh, just raring to get out there. There's nothing like it. Um, and to have the opportunity for your work to be created by the likes of Joseph Kadelka and Martin Parr and, and the man himself, David Hearn, uh, it was an honour. Um, by the end of my second year, I was beginning to focus exclusively on portraiture. Um, and for a while, this involved uh, some pretty wild photo montage portraiture. Uh, which was great, but at some point I got it in my head that uh, I was going to be called into the office by David and uh, to have a little chat and to be told in no uncertain terms that uh, all my uh, activities were unacceptable in the strict documentary tradition. So I actually preemptively invited myself to his office and, um, and let him know that I I knew what he was uh, what he was going to do. So, of course, I was totally amazed and astounded, humbled by his response, which was to give me his support, his encouragement, 100%. Um, this is something you never forget. It's, uh, and I remember him explaining that. It's not just, um, it's not about photography. Uh, in a sense, there's no such thing. It's, it's, that's just a word used, a uh, collective term used to describe people that happen to have a camera and they're going about doing their thing. And the way you connect with the world, so long as it's honest and has integrity, um, and that you s your method of approaching that is genuine, not contrived, then you're on a winner. You're, you're going to be producing work with integrity and that's ultimately, I think, a great goal, uh, a great aim, anyway. Um, but if that wasn't enough when he, he told me this, which I think for me was very much uh, a penny dropping kind of moment. Um, if that wasn't enough, he then suggested that we together go and exchange my rangefinder, which I had then, for a, a medium format camera. And we actually went together to a local photography store and he helped me choose the medium format camera, which I used for many, many years after that. And if that wasn't enough, <laughs> he then very kindly gave me his old Seconic light meter that he'd used throughout his career, explaining um, and listing all the celebrities that he'd uh, used uh, in photo shoots uh, with this light meter. And that's something that I still cherish to this day. Um, so with this, when the course was over, um, I took my portfolio and my newly acquired camera and light meter and left for London, which for me at the time was the only place I could really do what I wanted to do, which was work for magazines and design groups. And uh, this was a wonderfully, wonderfully creative period uh, through the 80s and early 90s discovering, growing, learning the business and how you can tie your art to the business and be 
content and satisfied with that. Um, sometimes it's a hard process, but it's sometimes necessary. Um, but in those early, few early months when I was first in London, which were winter months, I would find myself in uh, telephone booths outside. I didn't have, couldn't afford a phone in my uh, in my studio bedsit. Um, I was kind of feeling sorry for myself and you know trying to call art directors and just to get some work, to get things moving. And when I found myself staring at my little stack of ten pence pieces uh, in the phone booth, uh, feeling sorry for myself, I was just remind myself that you know I had the support of of those people behind me that had encouraged me that had totally trusted that I can do this and I would just remind myself of their kind words and I figure if they think I can do this then I I can do this I can make this happen I should make this happen because there's no way I can really thank them except for actually putting in some hard work to make happen what they worked hard to help me with. So, yeah, it was quite a time. And now I've jumped 27 years and uh, here, I am, here I am in Manhattan with my wife and two kids. And uh, yeah, I, I've had a few creative diversions along the way. Um, but thanks to uh, the generous and wonderful help from many wonderful people, uh, I'm still a photographer and more importantly, I'm still loving it.